it, guys. As promised, here is the cold shot lesson video. Um, I'm going to be in the second position still. I've got my rotary speaker. I'm going to turn it on. That's what I have. Here it is. That's what he uses, either that or some kind of chorus, but he's got that rotary vibrating, vibrating effect going on. So let's get in on the lesson here. I'm um, really excited about this. One of my favorite things to do. Um, first of all, we are in the first box of the pentatonic shape in the key of A. So here's your A minor. A minor pentatonic, but then B. And you would do um, different licks based on that scale. And when he shifts, he's in box two. And that's a typical blues box. You got one and then... You know, we got the whole uh, series of notes here. Typically, typically it starts with the uh, D string. And, you know, it's just a last two or three strings here. You know, the blues people don't go all the way up and down the neck, and, you know, a lot of them stay within two or three strings on the bottom. But for cold shot, we're going to be in the, the minor key, the short version, and all it is is... After that, it's you're going to be hitting um, the G string, and your ring finger is going to be on the seventh fret G string, and you're going to be barring this down here with your first finger. But you're going to be plucking that first finger, that first string there, with uh, your middle finger or whichever finger. But he does. And let's go over that really slowly. It's a bend. It's a bend and a choke. And I'm choking it with my pick here. So if we'll just do that without adding this real quick, it'll make it a little easier. And it's actually a pull off and hammer on. So practice that part real quick. Add a little vibrato and and you'll be just fine. Well, the first one, the first bend was a bend and a choke, and then the the next bend is a bend and release. And then I just hit the A for effect there. And then you do it again. I'm hitting a couple notes here, double stopping it. The bit, the G and the E string, G and the B string. Sometimes I go, but I think he actually goes. So the first and the second part again is. I'm adding a little extra stroke. Uh, it's just a little extra, you know, groove. So let's do that with the uh, picking here. Here we go. Mm -hmm. 
And then when he goes, he's actually uh, hitting that B string and not doing the E string anymore. Actually, he is doing the E string, my bad. So that's the first half. Let's play that again real quick. when you slow this thing down. There we go. It's kind of a slow bend. Or... Then you're going to walk down those uh, those notes there. My pinky is on the 8th uh, fret. Let's try that again. Or but I think he adds that little extra note there. And the second party's nice little hammer on blisters, blisters down there. a uh, <laughs> little finger twister there for a little bit. I'm trying to get my leg situated here. There we go. And then it's Still in box one, don't forget. If I was you, I could cycle that over, you know, I'd, I'd do that as a practice. Get your finger up to speed because that's a, a classic rock, classic blues uh, sound. but I think he just goes to a bend. And that is a E uh, a E7 with a sharp 9. And uh, it's the same chord that Eric Clapton used on Old Love. (laughs) 
but we're not on a love. We're on cold shot. That is uh, your your um, middle finger is on the E note, seventh fret, uh, fifth string. Then you've got what it is. It's kind of like a B seven, but it's moved up here. Move that B seven all the way up to where your middle finger is on the E string. And the sharp nine would be, this is a regular nine with uh, your pinky as well on the seventh fret of the B string. Sharp nine is you move that pinky up half a step. Okay, so that's the E7 uh, sharp nine. And it's kind of a. I'll do this with that. Uh, I guess I have to do it with North. I'll try to do it as slow as I can. So it's upstroke is your your strumming with your chord down. When you do a downstroke, it's a mute. You're lifting off, keeping your fingers on the strings. That's the first half. I don't know how long this video is going on, but I'm going to go ahead and stop it now and do the second half in the next video so that it won't be too long. And I'll see you in the next video for the second half of the solo with more distortion. Yeah, buddy.